Hey everyone, Slick Full Tech here. In today's video, we have the Huawei P40 Pro on the right and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus on the left. And this is the Exynos version, Exynos 990. This is the Kirin 990 5G in the Huawei P40 Pro. In this video specifically, we are gonna show you the difference in performance of these two flagship processors for gaming and we will have FPS counters on both screen refresh rate for this and this so we got the 90 refresh at up to 90 Hertz for smoother animations on the P40 Pro we got that enabled and we got the higher refresh rate get more realistic animations and smoother scrolling 120 Hertz on the S20 plus and for the screen resolution it's on smart which basically puts that at high and only goes to low when the battery is low but we're gonna remove this and just leave it on high and for the S20 plus we have to leave on F full HD plus to make sure the 120 Hertz is enabled even though the S20 plus does have a 120 Hertz display the games will not be playing at 120 FPS not sure if they haven't calibrated properly or made it compatible with the display but we will see we don't know why I have no idea so what we're gonna do is play games which are supposed to be able to have no limits to their FPS so they should be able to go to even 100 FPS if they wanted to first game is car X highway racing so as you can see for the Kirin 990 It is limited to 90 FPS, so we are making good use of the display. In terms of the FPS counter dropping and everything, you can see if I crash or cause an accident, nothing happens, gets to 87 FPS maybe. In general, it's doing pretty good. We get some FPS drops, but nothing too serious. Samsung Galaxy, you could see that we're limited to 60 FPS. So far, no frame drops. 58 FPS wouldn't really count as a frame drop, 56 maybe. Now, this is this doesn't have any settings to change the graphical settings, so it should be optimized for most phones, so we shouldn't expect any lag, basically. Darkness rises. Graphics is set to custom ultra high, high, and display that screen refresh rate is on high. As you can see, when I put on auto, we did drop to about 38 FPS. And if I turn off auto, and go to manual, we get back to 60 FPS. So for most of it, we are at 60 FPS. Ultra graphics, screen refresh rate is high and resolution high, again display pet is on. We're at 90 FPS instead of 60. So the 90 Hz display I guess is accurate. And just like the S20, we are not going to have any frame drops yet. Now what I'm gonna do is turn on auto and see how much the frame rates are gonna drop by. So as you can see, just like the auto on this, the Huawei P40 Pro also went to 38 FPS, which seems to be the standard. It does 
itself and limits it to. And of course if we turn it off, it should go straight back to 90 FPS. Shadow Gun Legend. Graphics detail is set to ultra high and FPS limit is set to 60 FPS. Frame limit is not limited to 60, it's actually limited to 90 like the other game we tested. Now, for this game, the frame drops normally happen when an enemy gets shown, and as you can see, we just dropped to 53 FPS as our lowest, and it seems to be averaging out about 82. Go to ultra high 60 fps, the same settings. We're in again. Again, limited to 60 fps. So. Enemies show up, we drop to 53 FPS, 51. So let's turn around again. Let's see who can we kill. Just a scratch. Forty nine FPS. This was 90 FPS and we got drops to 72 to 80 FPS. This was 60 FPS and we got drops to 45 FPS. So both of them dropped a few FPS but this one was much higher and that's the Huawei P40 Pro. This is another Shadow Gun game and this one was struggling a lot on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus when I tested it in my gaming test video for the Samsung Galaxy S20. 60 FPS and graphical detail is set to ultra high. So, for the S20 Plus you should be able to see the FPS counter is ridiculously low right now at 30 FPS. And we're getting some extreme amounts of lag. It's doing much better than 
yesterday when I tested it, which means that yesterday was just probably because it was the last game on the list. But since this is now I'm playing it first time, maybe this phone does throttle after long amounts of gaming. Which means that the performance would decrease when the phone gets hot. Because this was playing at about 8 FPS or 10 FPS and even crashed at one point. Either way right now we're at about 30 FPS, which is the average it seems, when there's enemies around. Let's go one more time and see what happens. Yep. 60 FPS ultra high and play game. So, again we're in the game. This time it's a whole different story. You can see again we're limited to 90 FPS. So 90 FPS frame drops to about 80 FPS, so only 10 FPS frame drops compared to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus which was averaging at about 30 FPS. So the clear winner of this test is obviously the Huawei P40. Moving at about the worst FPS count we get is 78, so really impressive from the Huawei P40 Pro. So that's it for this test, we know the clear winner. If you want to see a comparison test between testing the Dolphin emulator between these two phones, that's also another video on my channel. Also if you want to look at my website, everything's more organized there, go on, feel free to do that, slickfortech.com. And other than that, have a great day, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, bye.